Hoffa Day Guam. I'm Joanna Delfin from the Joint Region Marianas Public Affairs Office. And with me today is my friend Claire Barati from DZSP21 Environmental. And today Claire will be making pecan or pecan tarts. Claire, how do you say it? Either way, both ways, it tastes good. Okay, it's great. Oh, I guess we can get started. Do you want to run us through the ingredients? Okay, these are the ingredients for the crust. It's one eight ounce bar of cream cheese, um, one and a half sticks of cold butter, um, two cups of flour. For the filling, two-thirds cup of corn syrup, two-thirds cup of white granulated sugar, um, two eggs, one half teaspoon of vanilla, two tablespoons of melted butter, and a couple pinches of salt. What are these over here on this side? This is a topping. It's just chopped pecans, about a cup to a cup and a half. So now that we've gone through the ingredients, let's get started. Claire, would you like to run us through? Okay, so let's mix up the ingredients for the crust. Cream cheese and the butter together, and they're both cold. We're gonna mix this first. Okay, this is like what professional bakers use, right? <laughs> I only have the hand mixer, so I had to mix it, you know, by myself. Okay, so we'll go over there and mix it up. Start off slow, and then it'll mix up. No big chunks, um, but you don't want to over mix it because then it makes the gluten kind of tough. It tends to be flakier when you use cold ingredients, but it also works if you know you don't have cold ingredients. You can do it um, at room temperature. We're just gonna do a once over on it because there might be lumps of um, cream cheese or butter. You just want to work those out. You don't want one big chunk of butter in your bite. I don't feel any butter or cream cheese either, so I think it's good. <laughs> so this is a mini muffin pan, and I'm gonna just pinch off one inch balls, and I'll do that for the entire tray. So now that we've filled our mini muffin pans with the crust, um, what do we do now? I have a tool called a, a mini a tart former and this is very helpful in making these otherwise you can use a little rolling pin you can always use your fingers but it just takes a lot more time to do so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push it down a little bit and then try to work the crust up the sides okay I'm gonna try I might break it so we'll <laughs> see I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> Here you go. Now that we have our shells, crusts in place, what are we, we're going to mix the filling. Is that right? Okay. Measuring cup helps. And then you're going to pour into each shell about two-thirds full of the filling. You don't want to overfill because it'll bubble over and then you're just going to have a hot sticky mess. Okay. We're going to top it off with pecans, right? And this is what makes it a pecan tart. You can use anything else, uh, any kind of nut, macadamia I think would taste good, uh, walnuts, almonds, if you don't really like pecans. I just use about a teaspoon to fill it. preheated your oven to 350. You're gonna cook them for about 20 to 30 minutes. I know that's a large um, range, but it really depends on your oven and how big your muffins are. So between then, um, we're gonna try for 27 minutes. Okay, so we set our timer to 27 minutes. Just be like waiting. <laughs> So now that we've um, finished our 27 minutes of baking, this is what we came up with. This is the color that you want to um, achieve. It's a, like a golden brown, a little lighter than this, and it'll, it won't have baked through at the bottom. So you want to make sure that it's um, crispy, but not soggy in the middle. Also, when you take it out of the oven, you want to remove the tarts immediately because the tart's going to get stuck in the pan. So remove it right away and then put it on a cooling rack. Can I eat one? Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. It's not dry at all. And the, it looks like the pecans kind of like fell into the filling. Mm -hmm. Is that what happens? Yeah, that's what happens. Okay, so it falls in and then it incorporates in. So it's really good. Well, that's our show for today, Guam. Thank you for joining us for another edition of Island Palette. And Claire, thank you for making these goodies for me to take to my <laughs> office. <laughs> And we'd, um, you know, is there anything that you'd like to say to our viewers? Just thank you. Enjoy the pecan tarts. I know you will. 
Adios, Guam. We'll see you next time. Bye.